Welcome back to another Inkscape tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download uh, map data from OpenStreetMap in a uh, SVG format so that you can edit it in Inkscape and make your own custom maps for whatever you want to do. So OpenStreetMap, if you don't know, it's a free alternative to like Google Maps or Bing Maps. It's basically a free and open map, kind of like the same idea as Wiki of Wikipedia. So people just contribute all this map data. It's the entire world and it's very, very granular, especially on larger cities. You can zoom in and find individual businesses and different things that are happening at certain parts of the world. So we can just search up here and I was going to do maybe like a Hawaii picture. So we can zoom in here to Hawaii and if we want, to, if there's a certain thing we want to get, I will say we're going to want to zoom in and get some pretty good detail. If I, I tried to do just all of Hawaii like this, and it was about uh, it was like 33 megabytes, so it's quite large for a for a vector file, and it's it's just a little bit slow to work with, especially if you have a, an older or slower computer. But if you're zooming in on a certain area, let's say you have a business here in Hawaii, and you want to create a nice like a map of the downtown area and show your customers how to get. Maybe you have like an Airbnb or something, and you want to show how to get from the airport to your Airbnb. Where's the airport? Uh, it's like north here. Uh, okay, oh, that's right here actually. All right, so we have the airport and you want to figure out how to get to the airport down to your Airbnb over here. So what we need to do is just share. Uh, it's called share over here on the right hand side. We click on share and we can either, you, the, the easy way is just create the short link and you can go include marker and you can just drag this marker to wherever your Airbnb is. And then you can just copy this link and you could actually just send them this link and they can come right to OpenStreetMap and find it. But if you want to get a little bit more, um, you want to customize a little bit the colors and sort of what you're, the information you're giving them, you can select this format, go to SVG, and we can go to Set Custom Dimension, and that'll be, we can choose this, like what, what parts do we want to actually get out. So maybe we just want just this part of the map right here and then we just click download. We can change the scale too. I like to always I like to just go one and hit enter. Um, depending on the objects you have selected, there'll be a lower limit that you can have selected. So, but I'm gonna lower this down. The higher this number, the larger your file size will be, but there is a minimum floor. So the minimum on this one is 47,500. I'll click download. And what OpenStreetMap now does is convert this map data into an SVG file that I can download. It shouldn't take too long. I've been downloading a couple other ones. So this one looks like it is done downloading. It's called Map 3 because I deleted my last Map 3. So I can look at this under my Downloads folder and find it. And I can right click and go to Open with Other Application and open it in Inkscape. I could also just open up Inkscape and then, and then navigate to where it is and open it from within Inkscape that way. And uh, oops, let me full screen uh, this here. Oh, did I get the wrong? Oh, no, this is the right one. So what it's actually showing me, the part I have selected, we can zoom in here and see, but it actually exported out the whole island too, which is nice. Just It just didn't get a lot of the, the details. Actually, it's not the whole island, it looks like. But it, 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 it exported the actual details of the part I told it to. So we can see the airport here, and, and um, we can follow down the the freeway or interstate or uh, interstate and does Hawaii have interstates um, and then we can come down here and find out so maybe one of these buildings is the exact Airbnb okay so we'll select like maybe it's this one right here so what we do if we just double click in here it lets us select a, a building we can turn it like red and we can draw we could uh, we could come over here and just draw like with our mouse and be like this is the location and then we can write some notes here so if we click uh, text oh it's letting me do text so this file was eight megabytes so it's not too bad it's still still pretty manageable but it looks like it's taking a little bit of time rendering probably because I'm doing a screen recording at the same time and this text tool is just like it's not liking it okay I've reloaded this in here I was having an issue with the text tool and one thing I will say is if we go to look at layers um, Everything's on one layer right now, so it's not managed incredibly well. Just the, the format they give us is just raw vector data, which means if we click to change the text, we have to delete one letter at a time. And also, if we zoom in here, behind the letters, it has like sort of a little, can you see this? It has like a little glow or a little outline of the letters behind it. So that can be kind of annoying. 
And there are some more advanced options for exporting the map data and um, converting it to vector yourself. And then you can choose what layers. You can just export it without any text at all, which, which is kind of a nice option. Or if you zoom out further, actually, and export. So maybe play with that a little bit. But hopefully this gives you an idea for what you can do. So you have all this, this data that you have here. And we can actually select and make changes to it. We can change the outline of it if we double click. We can actually change the outline of the footprint of the building. All these little places down here, we can change the color of them and we can move them around. We could scale if we wanted to like make it more dramatic, we can scale this up if I lock this. So we can kind of scale it up just to kind of show people like you are here or something, give them an idea and we can circle it with like maybe grab a red here. And so then you can, you know, you can show people. This is just a, an example if you wanted them to come from here. And you could even draw. What could you do? A couple different things. One way you could do it is just like this. So you draw like a little curve here, and you're like, this is the the route you need to take to get to our place. And you kind of figure out exactly how it is. And then we come over here to uh, fill in stroke. So we change the stroke size of this way, way, way up to something like 30 because of the size of this. And then we turn that red as well. So you could be like, hey guys, if you're coming to visit my place, this is the route you take. We can turn it yellow maybe, something that just kind of really stands out. And then you can add notes in here. That's what I was trying to do last time, adding text when it kind of got glitchy. But again, we wouldn't we wouldn't need to export all this stuff. Um, but hopefully that gives you an idea for how you can edit a map and get this data. And then of course we just go to File, Export PNG Image, and we can export this. And then once it's an once it's an actual image, we can just export it like this. Oh, this is going to be quite large. This is going to be incredibly large. I did, I did it at 600 DPI because that's what I was doing for print design in the last tutorial. Let's change it to 90 and then go export, and that'll be much faster. And so now, am I at full screen? So now if we go to the uh, downloads here, we can look at just this image downloads, and we can see it just in like a, an image format. So we have a nice image that we could email to someone and be like, "Hey, here you go. I should have selected a different. I selected the the area of the of this yellow outline to do that." But then you can always crop this image or, or put it in, and so you give them an actual image file, but you use the SVG to kind of make it, you know, whatever you want to do. Anyway, that is uh, using um, OpenStreetMap to generate uh, SVG files that you can then edit and customize yourself. I will throw in a note here as well. You can use OpenStreetMap to do your own mapping. So if you want to add, if your area, like Hawaii is probably pretty well mapped, but where I live in Idaho, Idaho, um, there's actually not a whole lot of m mapping done. And so there's areas that are just like completely blank like this for the most part. And you can actually contribute uh, yourself. So you can actually come in here, sign up for an account, and you can edit the map yourself and you can draw uh, I've done quite a bit of mapping actually you, you draw outlines and fix errors in roads and label businesses so it's really cool just community driven data so I encourage you to use OpenStreetMap when you can as an alternative to something like Google Maps uh, but also go ahead and get in there and add data uh, so that it can be used by other people in the world Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and leave questions and comments below if you have any, and I'll catch you in the next video.